Hello folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I've got OBS Studio up here, and I'm playing Spider-Man on the PS5. But, I'm not using a capture card. So I'm going to show you today how you can use OBS Studio to stream your console gameplay from PS5 to YouTube, Twitch or wherever, without having to invest in a, a game capture hardware device, or here's the thing, without having to move your PS5 from its location. So presumably you've set it up as a part of your home entertainment system. You don't want to keep shimming it over to your streaming PC to connect it up each time you want to stream to Twitch or whatever. You don't need to, okay? As long as you've got a decent network connection on your PS5 and a decent network connection on your streaming PC, then you can get as good as using a capture device without having to use one, just like this. Okay then, let's get on with it. Okay, I'm just going to show you my setup so you can see how I'm going to be running things today. So down here we have the PS5 itself uh, set up in the entertainment unit. Now that's not connected to the computer via any kind of, you know, Elgato hardware capture or anything. One thing I will say though, make sure you're using an Ethernet connection. Why would you want to risk this over Wi-Fi? Anyhow, uh, let's just go over here to the other side of the room. You can see I've got the streaming computer set up as well. This too is connected via an ethernet connection. So we should get a nice link between the two. You might be able to pull this off over Wi-Fi if you've got a strong signal. Like I say, I wouldn't want to risk it. Also make sure PS5 controller and the cable as well. You are going to need to connect that into your computer in order to use this method. Right then, so all the software we're going to be using today is completely free. First of all, we're going to be using the PS Remote Play app, which I've downloaded directly from Sony. I'll leave a link to all of this stuff in the video description. Now, I've gone ahead and set up the Remote, uh, Remote Play app, uh, which is a fairly simple process, but I'll just very briefly show you my settings here. So the only thing that's of note is that I've got the resolution set to 1080p. Obviously, that's going to be dependent on your network. 1080p is the maximum, so you can't stream this in 4K, unfortunately. But if you're, you know, streaming to Twitch Live or YouTube or whatever, then you're unlikely to be able to do that in 4K anyhow. So we'll set that to 1080p. Uh, again, as long as you've got everything connected via Ethernet cables, then that shouldn't be a problem. And because all of this is being transferred across your network, it's not going over the Internet. It shouldn't interfere with your upload bandwidth to Twitch either, which is a bit of a nice bonus, let's be honest especially if you have internet like mine. So I've set my PS5 up previously. Let's go ahead and connect to that now. Uh, it might take a minute to get a decent picture once it's loaded, just as we start to get a good feed. Uh, no, that seems pretty much okay. Right, so one of the things I love about the PS5 remote play is that there's so little lag in comparison to how it was when I used to try and use remote play with PS4. You know, it's absolutely perfect. It really is. At least to me. I'm getting old now, so I can't notice the input lag. I'm sure some of you folks will, uh, but for me, this is absolutely fine. Okay. Right, so next of all, we need to set up our streaming software. And I'm going to set up OBS. So OBS is a game-free software, and it's pretty much the perfect streaming software, in my opinion. It does absolutely everything you're going to need it to. It's wonderful. Right, let's move the uh, PS Remote Play window out of the way for the time being. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is start adding some sources. So I've already added this scene that's called PS5 Streaming. Right now it's completely blank, as you can see. So we're going to then start adding the sources. Uh, right, so we're just going to go ahead now and add a new window source or window capture. That's this one down here. And we're going to select Create New. I'm just going to call this... PS Remote Play. Oh, I'm getting my arm tangled up in the uh, controller cable. PS Remote Play. Just like that. Select OK. And the one you're going to want to select is this one here. Remote Play.exe, PS Remote Play. Now, one thing to note is that for some reason, it doesn't always refresh this perfectly when you open OBS. So, if you... You know, the next time you come to open OBS, find that the uh, stream hasn't come up properly. Then just double click this here, this source, and then change it to something else. And then change it back to PS Remote Play. And that should fix it for you. It doesn't always need that to be done, but occasionally it does. Uh, right, that's pretty much it. As you can see, we are ready to start streaming. 
or recording with OBS here. So maybe we can go ahead and open Spider-Man since I think the uh, disc is currently in there. Now obviously you'll need to set up your OBS Studio so that you can stream to your server. Uh, whether that's on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook or whatever the case may be. Uh, one thing to note as well of course, this guide is made for streaming. But you can also use this just for bog standard recording. If you uh, want to, you know, upload videos and stuff of various game uh, gameplay clips to YouTube. Or whatever the case may be. Okay, so we've loaded up in game here. Of course, when it comes to streaming, we want a little bit more than we've currently got. Uh, right now, I've got no audio for this. So if I hit record or stream here, my viewers aren't going to be able to hear anything. Either my commentary or the in-game audio. So I'm going to go ahead and add an audio input capture. For my setup, things will work differently for yours. And I'm going to add system and mic and this is a and this is a setup i've got for uh, any music or sound that's coming from my computer along with my commentary as well so everything in one it just keeps things simple i'm using go xlr to do this for me uh, but obviously you set up your own audio as need be and it's probably a good idea to add a camera as well webcam if you've got one so let's go ahead and select video capture device I'm going to add one that I've already got set up, the Logi software. Uh, there we go. Oh, I don't like the way that's looking. So you can have a play about, of course, with your own settings. Let's go to transform here for mine. And let's do a little bit of cropping. Uh, yeah, 435 looks about right. And uh, bottom, let's go for, uh, say, 330. Yep, yeah, get a nice square webcam there. It's looking a little bit dark, so let's get some lights going. Stick that down there so we're not blocking any gameplay. And obviously you can put up your own overlays with any information that you want up. You can pretty it up a lot more than I've done here. Uh, that's, you know, what you're going to do if you're streaming, isn't it? But for me, for the purposes of this example, I think that pretty much covers it. So let's be honest, if you don't tell your viewers, this looks perfect. They're not going to know that you're actually streaming this game yourself from the console as opposed to doing an actual hardware capture. And of course, because we're doing it this way, rather than using the PS5 streaming interface that Sony gives us, we don't have any of the negatives that come with that. So it's not going to cut off when we're getting achievements or trophies uh, or cutscenes. You can choose to not show those, of course, if you're worried about copyright and stuff. Uh, but most of those don't trigger copyright in my experience. And, you know, you can get to add your own overlays much more simply than if you were using the PS5 interface. And it's free as well, as long as you can get a good network connection. There's no further cost to doing it this way than there is by using the PS5 inbuilt streaming interface. And in my opinion, this is much better. So there we have it then, guys. Uh, a nice, simple process for being able to stream, live stream your PS5 gameplay to YouTube, Twitch or wherever else on the internet without having to invest in game capture, without having to move your console next to the computer to connect it all up, and without having to use the inbuilt PS5 streaming system. So what do you guys think? Hopefully this video helps you. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. That really does support me uh, by, you know, just pushing the video along in the YouTube algorithm, as they say. But have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.